Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari
Rastapraeshu Vabhadreshu Rastapraeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 7, Chapter 14, entitled Ideal Family Life. Text number 30 to 33. Saramsi Saramsi Puskaradini Puskaradini Shetrani Shetrani Ahasritani Ahasritani Uta Kurukshetram Kurukshetram Gayasira Gayasira Prayaga, Prayaga, Pulahasrama, Pulahasrama, Naimisham, Naimisham, Pagunam, Pagunam, Setu, Setu, Prabhasota, Prabhasota, Kushastali, Kushastali, Saranasi, Saranasi. Madhupuri, Madhupuri, Pampa, Pampa, Bindusaras, Bindusaras, Sata, Sata, Narayana Shramo, Narayana Shramo, Nanda, Nanda, Sita, Sita, Rama, R- Rama Shram. Ramashramadaya Ramashramadaya Sarve Sarve Kula Kula Chala Kula Chala Rajan Rajan Mahendra Mahendra Malay Malayadaya Malayadaya Ete Ete Punyamana, Punyamana, Desha, Desha, Hare, Hare, Arenshritas, Arenshritas, Archasra, Archasrita, Archasrita, Chaye, Chaye, Etan, Etan, Deshan, Deshan, Nishevata, Nishevata, Shreyas, Shreyas, Kamo, Kamo, E, E, Abhikshnasa, Abhikshnasa, Dharma, Dharma, E, E, Atrenhita, Atrenhita, Pumsam, Pumsam, Sahasradi, Sahasradi, Palodaya, Palodaya, Saramsi Puskaradini, Saramsi Puskaradini, Shetrani Arharatani Uta, Shetrani Arharatani Uta, Kurukshetram Gayat. Vaktira Guru Chetram Gaya Sira Prayaga Pushkarasrama Prayaga Pushkarasrama Naimisham Paugunam Setu Naimisham Paugunam Setu Prabhasata Kodastali Prabhasita Kodastali 
वाराणसी मधुपुरी वाराणसी मधुपुरी कंपा बिंदु सरस्ता कंपा बिंदु सरस्ता नारायण श्रमो नंदा नारायण श्रमो नंदा सीता राम श्रमाताया सीता राम श्रमाताया सर्वे कुतात्चला राजन सर्वे कुतात्चला राजन महेंद्रो मलयाताया Bete punya tamadeshi, Bete punya tamadeshi, Hare Architas Chaye, Hare Architas Chaye, Etan Deshan Nishaveta, Etan Deshan Nishaveta, Shreyas Kamohi Abhishanaha, Shreyas Kamohi Dharma hi atre atre hita pum sam. Dharma hi atre hita pum sam. Sahasra di palotaya. Sahasra di palotaya. Saramsi. Saramsi. Go ahead, read the word meaning. Anwa. Okay, Anubhad, read. Puskar jaise pavitra sarovar tatha vishthan jaha sadhu gurus rahte hai. Jadha kuru chetra gaya prayak pula hasrava naimi saranya halgu nadi ka tarch setu bandha prabhas dwarka varanasi varanasi Mathura, Pampa, Hindus, Hindu Sarovar, Badrika Asram, Narayan Asram, Vesthan Jaha Se Hokar, Nanda Nadi Baiti Hai. Vesthal Jaha Bhagawan Ramchandra Tatha Mata Sita Ne Sarangi, Tatha Chitra Kut, Tatha Mahendra, Aur Malaya Namak Pahari, क्षेत्र भी इन सभी स्थानों को अत्यंत पवित्र एवं पुण्य माना जाता है इसी प्रकार भारत के बाहर के स्थान जहां कृष्ण भावनामृत आंदोलन के केंद्र है और जहां राधा कृष्ण अर्चा विग्रह पूजे जाते हैं उन स्थानों में आध्यात्मिक रूप से बड़े चढ़े व्यक्तियों को जाना चाहिए और उनकी पूजा करनी चाहिए जो आध्यात्मिक जीवन में आगे बढ़ना चाहता है वह इन सारे स्थानों की यात्रा कर सकता है और अनुष्ठान कर सकता है जिससे अन्य स्थानों में संपन्न किए गए उन्हीं कृत्यों से हजार गुना अच्छे फल प्राप्त हो सकते हैं तात्पर्य तात्पर्य श्री गोपाल द्वारा इन श्लोकों में तथा श्लोक उन्तीस में एक ही बात बलपूर्वक कही गई है हरे अर्चा सीता चाहिए या हरे अर्चा दूसरे शब्दों में जिस स्थान पर भगवान के अर्चा विग्रह की पूजा की जाती है वो अत्यंत महत्वपूर्ण होता है कृष्ण भावना में आंदोलन विश्व भर के लिए लोगों को अपने इस्कान केंद्र के माध्यम से कृष्ण भावनामृत ग्रहण करने का अवसर प्रदान कर सकता है क्योंकि इन केंद्रों में लोग अर्चा विग्रह की पूजा कर सकते हैं और हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र का कीर्तन करके हजारों गुना अच्छी तरह से लाभ उठा सकते हैं मानव समाज के लिए यह सर्वश्रेष्ठ कल्याण कार्य है यही श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु का संदेश था उन्होंने चैतन्य भागवत में अंत्य अंतलीला चार एक सौ छब्बीस में कहा गया है इनकी भविष्यवाणी 
प्रभु चाहते थे कि हरे कृष्ण आंदोलन अचा विग्रहों की स्थापना करके विश्व के प्रत्येक ग्राम तथा नगर में फैल जाए जिससे प्रत्येक व्यक्ति इस आंदोलन का लाभ उठाए और उनका आध्यात्मिक जीवन सर्व कल्याणमय हो जाए आध्यात्मिक जीवन के बिना कुछ भी कल्याणप्रद नहीं है मोघासा मोघ कर्मणो मोघ ज्ञाना विजेत भगवत गीता नौ बारह में कहते हैं कृष्ण भावना भावित हुए बिना कोई भी व्यक्ति सकाम कर्मों में अथवा ज्ञान में सफल नहीं हो सकता जैसे जैसे कि शास्त्रों में संस्कृति की गई है हर एक को कृष्ण भावना अमृत आंदोलन में भाग लेने तथा आध्यात्मिक जीवन के महत्व को समझने में रुचि लेनी चाहिए ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानंजना शलाखाया चक्षुर्मिलस्मय श्री गुरव नम वंशकौपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु भय बचा पथितना पभानेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत कथा श्रीवासदी गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Narada Muni is describing about the duties in the different ashrams to Maharaj Yudhisthira. Now Narada Muni le Yudhisthira Maharaj lai samjhaunde huncha. So we're hearing in this section about ideal family life so the duties of grihasthas. Ta ya avale sunide cha adarsha parivar parivarik jivan ko bare ma. Grihasthas are different from grihamedis. Right, grihastas mean those who strictly follow the principles of spiritual life in their home. Grihasta one ko jo niyamit tarikale adhyat adhyat ke jivan ma niyamit tarikale rahe ko manse. Grihasta ashram is an ashram where people progress in their spiritual life. आश्रम जो आध्यात्मिक जीवन में बड़े चढ़ेगा People come to the temple for material benefit. They want to get blessings in their material life. The Manisharu Mandir Aamsan the Adhyatmik Karya Haru Bolagi Dhuna Bolagi. मंदिर so much about the material life the grihastha ru udale bhautik bhautik jivan ko lagi tachi saro khyal rakha of course they have family that's expected they have a home they have a family but their real consciousness their real thinking is about progressing making advancement in their spiritual consciousness tar pani udaru घर में परिवार हो तर उसे सारा 
परवा नवरी के ना आध्यात्मिक जीवन माँ उन्हें भी करना बलाई उन लोगों तो ऐसा बलाई तो तो डी ग्रहस्तस हैव टू गो पार्ट ऑफ डी ड्यूटी ऑफ ग्रहस्त आश्रम इस टू गो एंड विजिट होली प्लेसेस तो ग्रहस्त आलू उनके लिए भाई काम तो गोन बच्चा तो काम गरीब ना बने उनके लिए देरे ऐसे जो आप लोग भूतल चेतना वाले से आध्यात्मिक के लागी उन्हें भी लग जाएगा not only going to holy places like mentioned here far away in india but going to temple where the deities are where there's proper worship of the lord and we go to temple to take part in the activities in the temple. We don't just go to the temple only to break the coconut. <laughs> or we go to the temple and we light the incense, we offer the lamp. But the real purpose in going to temple is the same as going to the holy place. The real purpose is to hear from the devotees who stay there or who are preaching there. So, what are you? Mandir go, mandir dancing. Ah, yeah, please. Na bida na bola yung dancing. Some people think you go to the holy place just to take the bath. You think I'll go there, take bath in the holy water, I will leave all my sins there. And then I'll come back and I can go on with my sinful life. <laughs> so Shastra say, if somebody thinks like that, then they're no better than the foolish animal, like a cow or a donkey. <laughs> Right? Yashatma buddhi guna pe trida kute swadhi kala trade shu bhoma ichati yatirta buddhi shalale na karajit janish vabhigne shu sa eva gokara. Sa eva gokara means you're not any better than the animal, like the cow. Because we are thinking, first we are thinking, one thinks I am the body made up of the material element. Or I am from this country, or I belong to this community, which is worshipable. Or I go to the holy place to take the bath there. So the real purpose in coming going to any temple, going to any holy place, the real purpose is to hear, to get spiritual knowledge. Just, just like in the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam, very first chapter, you can hear the sages and Naimasharanya and they are being, it's described how they had great enthusiasm and they were very eager to hear. 
श्रीमद भागवत को पैल सुरू को अध्याय में सुनने So ideal family life, the ideal grihastas, the husband and wife, they should be very eager to hear. The other sa parivari jivan mane ko dene bhagwan ko baare mein sunne ko sa mande jaane mane ko udesh nahi sunne ko. When the sadhu or when the brahmachari or whatever comes to your door. You should receive them and welcome them. We should not say, "Oh, why you have come here? <laughs> why you disturbing our family life?" Go back to your ashram. Don't disturb us. Well, me and my husband are happy here in our material life. <laughs> Sukadeva Goswami would go to the home sometimes to beg some milk. He would, he would not get much milk if he came to Bangkok. <laughs> Who is keeping cows here in Bangkok? No milk for the sadhus. So the sadhus never come. <laughs> But it's a great fortune when the sadhu. Like Sukadeva Goswami, when they will come to your door, because they can give enlightenment. So you both to the Sukadeva or the Sadhu Ramachandra, Sukadeva Goswami, I know about that. They will tell you the danger of being too comfortable in material life. So my dear Bhanujaki, you Sanskarivarik Sanskarik Jivanma, both khatra chha, khasari bhakti 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 We like to make ourselves comfortable. We put nice, comfortable chair, and we sit in front of the television. So yeah, I'm going to say, "Kali the Subhra Glaine the Subhra the Kavila Pastor Ramro Pusi Kavila Sariswas Kavilagi Am Te Matres Bhakti Kavila Matres." And in this way, we are passing our life. We decorate the body. We have a nice mirror to look at our our beautiful faces, to paint the skin. Right. So in this way, we are passing the human life. But the sadhu comes and says, "What about the soul? Are you doing anything for the soul?" The sadhu says, "Ramanjha, our samjhan jagi, jo atma ko lagi ji, jo kya nahi hai mandar." We are taking care of the body, painting it, decorating it, make the skin look nice. But what about the soul? Ramele, khali, apne sare gulagi sinar gare ra matre kiya hai. Hamele ta atma gulagi bhi sochte hain. So the sadhus, the 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 sadhu who comes to the householders, their duty is to awaken the householders. The jo jo bani sadhu ro hamse jo gire sa varna, the kitna. Just like Vidura came to see Dhritarashtra. Because they were brothers, they were both sons of the semen of Vyasadeva. The Kiravani Maharu Baji Bhai was there. Yes, yes, of course. Right, different mothers, but the same father. 
So Dhritarashtra's sons had all been killed in the battle of Kurukshetra and Dhritarashtra and Gandhari are still living in the palace but instead of living with their own sons they're living with the Pandavas. So Vidura came and Vidura did not come to flatter Dhritarashtra. He did not come to say, Oh, my dear brother, you lost all your sons. What a shame. Vidura came to walk, tell Dhritarashtra that you're not doing good, you're not doing proper activities. He came to tell Dhritarashtra, you are in Maya Dhritarashtra. Bhima killed all of your sons and every day you're eating the remnants of his food. This is terrible, how you can do like this? You were born blind and you're spiritually blind. So Vidura really says heavy, he says things to Dhritarashtra, not very pleasant, not very nice to hear. But Vidura came to speak the truth. He wants Dhritarashtra to do something, to change. Prabhupada said, 5,000 years ago there was only one Dhritarashtra. <laughs> but Prabhupada said, today you can find Dhritarashtra in every home. Mm. We don't want to change. We don't want somebody coming and saying, Oh, you're in Maya Prabhu. <laughs> we are having the nice dream. Don't wake me up. I'm dream I'm having the nice dream. I'm so happy in my life. I have my husband, my family, my home. Don't wake me up. Let me sleep. So we see in the Bhagavad Gita, just like when Arjuna, Arjuna surrendered to Krishna. So Arjuna 
Krishna immediately told Arjuna, you are a fool, Arjuna. You are speaking nice words, but you are stupid. Right? If you go to someone and tell them you are stupid, <laughs> say, get out of here. Don't come to me. I don't want to see your face. So, very difficult to explain to people the duty of human life. But family life is meant, it, there can be ideal family life, but it, we know it's not very common today. <coughs> Not, not many people are in real family life. Just like Prahlad Maharaj told his father, Haranyakashipu. Prahlad told Haranyakashipu, he said, yeah, you are in family life. But you are in the in the well, the Greha Anda Kupam, the blind well of family life. So Prahlad uh, told his father, said, better you go to forest. Vanam, no, you take Vanapras, go and live in the forest. But if you just simply stay in the home, living comfortably for sense gratification, eating and sleeping and mating and defending, that is not Grihastha life. No, the Grihastha's life is, there's meant to be some relationship with the deity. Right. Every day you have to come and see the deity. Prabhupada told us how in Kanpur there's one family there. Uh, what is their name again? I forget the name. Anyway, one Hindu family. Uh, they're very big business family, you know, and they have the deity in their home. So it's a big family, joint family, all the brothers, you know, they're all living around the, the, the home. And every day, everyone in the family has to come to the temple to see the deity. <coughs> And they have the pujari, they have the priest there, and somebody doesn't come, the next day when they come they say, Oh, yesterday you did not come, you have to pay fine. <laughs> Not paisa, rupiah. 
They're big business family, lot of money, you see? So if they don't come to see the deity, then they have to pay fine. So, of course they are very happy to pay the fine. We will think, oh, I better go to the temple, I don't want to, I don't want to pay the fine. So, this is how we keep spiritual, how we keep Krishna in the center. Even in family life, Krishna is in the center. We see Lord Krishna Himself, He is also a Grihastha, but He is doing all of His duties every day. Just like when there was an eclipse, we had an eclipse. Did you have a, an eclipse here? I was in Malaysia. We had an eclipse one day last week. Did you have an eclipse here? You must have. We had it in Malaysia for from 11 o'clock until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There was an eclipse. So, when there's an eclipse, Lord Krishna came all the way from Dwarka, he went to Kurukshetra. The eclipse, you know eclipse? The covering of the sun, when the Rahu comes in front of the sun or the moon. Huh? What do you call it? Uh, okay. So when there's an eclipse, then it's considered inauspicious time. We close the temple. Right? Did you do that? Yeah. So Lord Krishna was in Dwarka, there was going to be an eclipse. He came all the way, he brought all his family, all his wives and all mother and father, everybody, they all came from Dwarka to Kurukshetra. And there they did sacrifice, they did yagya. And Krishna also gave charity to the brahmanas at that time. That is the Sajuti, Grihastha Ashram. Prabhupada was very simple and when devotees would ask him about the duty in family life, he said, when you prepare food, you have to go and call out, is anybody hungry? If you, if you are hungry, please come and take food. My house food is ready, please come and eat. So that is Grihastha Ashram. They don't just eat on their own, close the door, don't let them see what we're eating. <laughs> In temple they're only having chapatis, every day I'm eating kuris. <laughs> <laughs> so, Grihastha means like that, n nothing secret. Krishna, 
Krishna is in the center and they live together, husband and wife, for the service of Krishna. And they have children and raise the children to be Krishna conscious. And they also go to the different temples to see the deity and to hear from the devotees. They take the they take the children with them and show them how to properly behave in the temple. And take them all, take the whole family also to go to holy place. Right? What people do things, what do they do with their families? They go to, they go to holiday camps, you know, they go to beaches and they, they don't, they go to places like Phuket, Koh Samoy, Pattaya. Yeah. These places, these are not really holy places. <coughs> but somehow the devotees are giving some mercy there. Just like Patiya, they had the big Rathiatra there in December. And they give out so much prasadam and so many books. So the devotees make, they make a place holy. Bhavad Vidir Bhagavatas Tirta Bhuta Swayam Bhidvo Tirti Kurvanti Tirtani Swanta Stena Gadabrata. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Maharaj Yudhisthir greeted Vidura and he said, You are the personification of the holy places. Because you carry the Lord in your heart. Wherever you go, you make it a holy place. So Maharaj Yudhisthir was so happy Vidura had come home to make their Hastinapur holy place. <laughs> the same way people should be happy, oh Hare Krishna have come to Patiya or Phuket to make it a holy place. <laughs> They should feel, they should appreciate that this movement is doing so much good for these places. Everybody else, they go to these places to take drugs, to drink, to do all sinful things. But devotees, we go there to give mercy to all these people. 
Imbalance. We just had Drathi Atra in Kosamoy. So people got the chance to hear the holy name. Many people were given prasada and some people also get books. New Year time, for New Year people think they, they drink, they eat all kinds of disgusting food and they drink all kinds of alcohol. Do you know how many, how many chickens they kill at Christmas time and New Year time? How many different animals are slaughtered for the people to eat? at this time of the year. And so many people are kept drinking all of this alcohol, the beer and the whisk, all these different things they drink. They're spending so much money on all of this. And if, if we ask them, can you give donation for temple? Oh, I have no money. <laughs> but when it comes to buy alcohol or to eat meat, then they've got so much money. <laughs> but devotee is so kind, they give even, they don't have any money, they don't give in. We give freely, prasada, books even given free. Because devotee is full of compassion for the fallen soul. Yeah, this is Lord Chaitanya's movement. It's meant to deliver the fallen soul. So there's a lot of fallen souls in the world, right? Not only Dhritarashtra, there's so many other fallen souls. Lord Chaitanya had one wonderful devotee, there was one devotee named Vasudev Datta. So Vasudev Datta, he told Lord Chaitanya, he said, I will take the sins for all the sinful people. Let them all be delivered and go back home. I will stay here. Lord Chaitanya was so pleased. Oh, very nice. Right? Are you also willing to take the sins? <laughs> right? Are you ready to take sins for all these sinful people? Deliver the fallen souls. We don't worry about ourselves. We have no problem. Wherever we go, we can chant the holy name. Well, it doesn't where where we go Phuket, 
Kosamoy, North Pole, South Pole, Africa, China, everywhere we just chant the holy name. Right. Prahlad Maharaj said, I have no problem for myself. I'm worried about the other people. So Lord Chaitanya's movement is meant for creating that kind of consciousness. We should be thinking not only about ourselves, but think about others. Right. We want to give Krishna. So this is the real spirit, right? Christmas, they say Christmas, the time of giving, right? But what do they give? They give cigarettes, they give alcohol. We give the real gift, the, the best of all gifts, Krishna. So this is the real mood of Christmas. We, we really know how to celebrate Christmas. Uh, Christmas came early in Patia. Right? It came early. They had it at the beginning of the month. <laughs> but we are in Christmas, the spirit of Christmas every day. Every day, chanting, giving mercy. So that is ideal family life. Okay, any question? You never ask any questions, you guys. Will you ask Rahugan questions when he's here? She, she asked when, when she chant, uh, she cannot give concentration. She cannot give the concentration. So how does she give Chant louder. Louder. Oh, oh, you have to chant. More chanting. <laughs> We have to practice. How long have you been chanting? When you became a devotee? Five years. Five years. Not very long. You have to keep practicing. Takes time. So chant more. Hmm? Well, the Kuntimala won't protect you. The Kuntimala will not protect you. If if you're doing, if there people are doing things 
bad things, sinful acts, and still wearing Kuntimala, the Kuntimala will not protect them. They'll get worse punishment. They'll get more punishment because they're wearing the Kuntimala and doing the bad thing. So they should be very careful. So we have to explain him nicely or what we do with that? Well, yes, you can explain nicely to them. We like to speak the truth, try to make it pleasing. Well, it's very nice if you have bigger but Prabhupada likes the devotees to come to the temple. He thought it's, if you're living very far away, then you can have your own Vigra. But he prefers that you come to the temple. And take part in the program in the temple. Prabhupada encouraged all the devotees like that. He didn't like everybody having their own deities and then not coming to temple. He said, better everybody come together, have association and worship Krishna together. Of course at home you have to have some kind of altar because you have to cook for your family. But he liked devotees to also come and take prasadam at the temple. Many people are taking prasadam here also. It's good. It's better than bring it home. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam ki. Srila Prabhupada ki.